we'll show you how to work with images that are broken up into individual shapes. And we'll use templates to help line up the shapes in Fudini Creator. On the left hand side in gray, you can see a fictional logo. We created it for demonstration purposes. The logo is one image. We went ahead and took that image and broke it up into individual shapes, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, the shapes in yellow. We did that in software outside of Houdini Creator. Use your graphic software of choice. We then took those individual images, imported them into Houdini Creator along with the logo image, and we already assigned an ingredient, height, and positions to those images. The logo image is gray, meaning it has no ingredient assigned to it. That means it will not print. So you can use it as a template to line up the individual shapes. Let's say you want to scale down the logo. We'll create a copy of the template and scale it down. As no ingredient is assigned to it, that shape will not print. We'll now copy our individual shapes and scale them down, lining them up with the template. This is where it's advantageous to have individual shapes. As the shapes get smaller, if we follow the template exactly, the letters in the pie shape would most likely print too close. We want to give them a bit of space. So we'll first align the shapes on the template to make sure they're aligned properly. And then we'll push out the letter P and the letter E and the pie shape just a bit, just to give them a bit more space. That will make the resulting print sharper and will avoid having the shapes print too close together. Oh,